Hey guys, hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, this is Amy with My Heirloom Life, and I am actually at the farm right now, and I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, growing corn in raised beds or containers. Um, I have done that for a few years now at the farm um, with some uh, golden bantam corn, and I always do it as a three sisters garden type uh, setup, where basically you have the corn in a couple circles in the middle, um, and then you have beans that grow up that, and you can have squash or pumpkins that cover the bottom to keep weeds out, and it all works together in a little symbiotic relationship. Uh, but I also, this year, have done some corn in other raised beds, some ornamental corn, um, some just some kinds that I wanted to try that I didn't have a whole lot of seed of, just to see if maybe it was something we would want to sell at the farm in the future and sell more of it then. Um, so I want to show you how I did that and some of the techniques that I so this is the bed that I have the three sisters garden in. Um, it's really more like four or five sisters. This year I added a sunflower right down the middle so that also has beans up it. Uh, but the corn I just plant in uh, about two or three circles um, and that's kind of just what you need for a small area is you really just need good pollination so you just need as many rows as possible. It doesn't have to be 100 foot long rows yet so that's why it's really good for a container too. Um, Okay, and so here's one of them that I am trying this year. Um, it's done really well, and what I did to set these particular beds up, you can see I have these, they're large round metal rings that we just repurposed into beds. And so basically all I did to start this, um, I actually dug out some of the dirt because it had a little bit too much sand in it from having carrots and radish in there before, and it was kind of washing away so it wasn't doing great. So I took out about a foot of the dirt from the beds before I did any planting, and then I added in, um, some of the ground cover that we mowed out here one of the time because we mow all our rows you can see in between the rows um, and I literally just added the chopped up grass and uh, ground cover which would be clover and all of that and I added probably three or four inches of that just to the bottom of it and then I put some compost right on top of that and then I just watered it down and I left it for a few days to kind of start breaking down and then I planted the corn and I've literally been watering it every day really heavy since then. And this is called a black Aztec corn. So it'll have black cobs and it'll look really pretty. It's, it's doing really well. I have to say um, it germinated pretty well. Not as good as a different kind, but it did pretty good. You can see all around. Um, we're on a bit of a slope here. So some of the ones in the front um, the water runs off and doesn't sit as good so you can see they're actually quite a bit shorter than the ones in the back um, But overall doing really well. You can see the ground in between all of them is clear. I have 100% honestly not pulled a single weed out of any of these beds that I have corn in um, So any fear of adding all of that green stuff to the bottom um, I have not had any trouble with that so it was an issue with the weed seeds my thought was that it's hot enough when it's breaking down that they're not going to germinate and there's about you know six or eight inches of mulch on top so i'm gonna have to go through all of that plus it's kind of uh, shading out a lot of the weeds because they've grown up pretty tall okay now let's look at the next one this one's definitely my favorite and it also germinated the best this is a striped hyponica um, heirloom corn. I actually got all of these from Baker Creek Heirloom, but this one was pretty cool. You can see how beautiful the stalks are. That's, you know, these are all ornamental, but these ones have a, even an ornamental stalk, so it's beautiful. Um, and you can see it's filling this bed up. Um, as far as germination, I think every single one that I planted came up just about, if I'm pretty sure. And, and it seems to not make a huge difference for the water consumption on the front ones like it did for the one over there. And they're all doing really, really well. Did the same thing with this bed as I did with the other one. Here's the bottom, you can see not a single weed. And really pretty corn stalks. See the dark burgundy down there. And they're all a little different, but they're all striped really well. Um, no ears on them quite yet, but I'm sure we'll get there. Look at that beautiful pink, white. Okay, now the next one. Okay, now this one is called a bear claw, so, or bear paw, sorry, not bear claw, bear paw. 
Um, I would say it germinated the worst and also has grown the least, but it's still not doing terrible. So <laughs> we'll take it. It could be because, I don't know, maybe it gets a little more sun and more wind. More windy, windy right now. You can see the winds coming from that direction. Um, I watered them all the same, planted them all on the same day. Um, germination was not super great on this one. I would say about a quarter of it did not come up. And some of it is literally very small. But for the most part, it is not awful. And still, even the spot, that huge blank area right there, uh, looks like there is one little weed. That's literally the first weed I have pulled out of all of these beds the entire time since day one of planting. So, just if you're afraid to use all that green stuff, it's, it probably won't be so bad. So you can see here the... It's not quite as full as the other ones, that's for sure. Comparison. You can see that middle one with the striped Hipponica is definitely doing the best. And the Black Aztec is probably doing second. But overall, I would say planting corn in a container um, is a great way to plant corn. Um, if you have a small space or you want it to be a little bit easier to weed or whatever, um, you just need to make sure you're doing it in enough rows for good pollination. So you can see here, I did a row on the outside, on the edge, and then I just do, I did about six inches between them, and the plant went on inside, and I just make the rows smaller and smaller, but they're all gonna burst out with their stalks, and this wind is exactly how they will pollinate. So that's why you wanna have as many of them as possible, and it will be just great. So just because you have a small space where you do all raised beds um, or whatever and if you don't want to plant, you know, a hundred thousand ears of corn like we maybe do at the farm, um, it doesn't mean you can't plant corn. So even if you have a small bed, a little container on your porch, you just want to make sure you have as many rows as possible even if they're very small. So get outside, get creative, get in your garden and have fun. Plant some corn. You can do it. <laughs>